Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we are taking a look at this We The People Holsters Kydex G3 Outside the Waistband Holster for the Taurus G3. Um, I was in the market for an outside the waistband holster and I did actually receive this as a Christmas present from my parents. And it's one of those things where I tend to um, open carry outside the waistband in the wintertime when I've got a heavy winter coat on, but I also have my concealed carry piece too. But it was time for another holster. Now, if you're looking for a holster online for the G3, you have many different options you can go with. Now, normally this lists for around $49.99, but they are up to $54.99. Now, as you can see, the uh, firearm is in fact unloaded. It does have a chamber flag in it, so it's safe for us to handle. When you get the holster in the mail, we'll talk about the features of the holster in just a little bit. It does come in this little reusable pouch, which is kind of handy. You can throw other stuff in there. Now, I've bought holsters from probably about a dozen different companies, and I have not been disappointed at all at what I've received. There's a receipt in there. Um, you do have a nice window sticker you can use. This is the kind of sticker that has to go through clear glass or maybe something you put on the back of your truck. Uh, but it is cool to send you a sticker anyway, which is kind of nice does have a lifetime guarantee against uh, manufacturing defects, although I've yet to actually break or wear a holster out for that matter. So real quick, let's just take you through the different features of the holster, what it offers, what it has, uh, how thick is the Kydex, you know, what's my take on it after having just countless holsters on the channel that we reviewed and that I personally own. All right, let's go and talk about those features and see what it has to offer. Okay, so as taken from the Amazon website, this is what we know. It does have a protective sweat guard, which basically covers the backside of the slide of the firearm. Sometimes it'll cover uh, part of the grip or the upper part of the frame, and that's this portion right here. It does have adjustable cant and ride. So cant is going to be the drawing angle, so you can, you can move the screws around, and uh, change, well, you can change the placement of the bracket so that you have more of an aggressive angle or more of a neutral draw angle if you want it. The ride height's adjustable by moving up or moving down the bracket and just simply rescrewing the screws back in place. It looks like you have about an inch of ride height adjustability, which is definitely a bonus. It is a 0 .08 thick Kydex. What I do like about it is that the edges have been gone over and smoothed out. The inside is nice and smooth. The outside has a fairly rough, durable texture. It feels like a sturdy Kydex. You do have adjustable retention right here. All you have to do is uh, occasionally put a screwdriver on the back and then turn the screw, sometimes you can just simply turn the screw and that'll increase the tension, which will keep the fire more positively locked in the slide. It does have a nice channel cut out here, so if you've got larger sights or possibly suppressor height sights, you should be okay with that. And we'll put those, we'll put the pistol in there and take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, speaking of which, if you happen to have, say, a G3 Tactical or you've got a, um, a threaded barrel on your G3, the nice thing is that you have space for that on the bottom. Sometimes these holsters will taper down towards the bottom and you can't get your uh, protective end cap for your threads to stick out of the bottom of the holster. That's not going to be the situation here. Now on the back, it says that it does have reliable fixation, which I had showed you before. There's multiple different contact points on the back when you put this around your belt, which we'll show you in a little bit. It does have angled edges, which have more of an aggressive bite when you're wearing it. Again, the open end muzzle, adjustable retention, um, audible holstering. So, I mean, you should hear a click when the, when the firearm goes into the holster and it does, it does have its positive retention made. Looks like they've got an aggressive kind of tab. And I haven't really seen this on other holsters before where you've got this uh, just literal square that's molded into it and that's gonna give it more of a depression. So, as soon as the finger guard goes over that tab, you're gonna hear the click. So, we'll see if we can catch that when we holster the firearm. So, why don't we just go ahead and uh, take the empty firearm and just holster it, unholster it. We'll try it out and see how it looks and show you how far it sticks out of the side when I'm wearing it. And uh, we will go from there. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take out the chamber flag, verify that the firearm is empty. In fact, it is empty. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put it in there and see what happens. I have not done any adjustment to the factory set tension. Okay, that is fairly loose, so let me go ahead and tighten that up. But the fit, I mean, the fit is perfect. Now, this is for a right-hand draw. They do make a left-hand draw, and like I said before, outside the waistband. Get up on the front there, you can take a look at that and see how much space you have. You can have a fairly uh, tall sight. You should get a, a suppressor height sight to easily work on there with no issues. Now the back, okay, the back cut is gonna be a little bit tricky. There's a ridge that's molded in there. You may not get any larger sights to work on the rear unless you grind that out yourself. Kinda wish they had a more aggressive cut, especially if you happen to have like a Toro system that has the optic mount on the top. You're not gonna be able to make that work unless you take a Dremel out and do it yourself. Now, there are companies that have optic compatible uh, G3 holsters that are pre-cut for you to work with. I just didn't happen to get one because I'm keeping this G3 in its stock form. So, yeah, your rear sights on here, you are basically going to be set with just your factory G3 rear sights, which I believe 
I'm not mistaken. Oh no, these are not the Glock compatible sights, my bad. Yeah, these are the older style sights. Now, if you've got the Glock compatible sights, you'll be fine too, which does offer you lots of different options for changing out the sights. But you do have a pretty good sized channel though, so most of your clearance issues should be taken care of. Uh, overall, it looks like a really good fit, but we are gonna go ahead and adjust that tension here and tighten it up. Your magazine button is not covered, it is exposed. I've had these pop, in, pop out on occasion, but it's not on an outside the waistband situation. That's on a, like an inside the waistband, like a sticky holster where I press up against the side of it and it pops out. But for the Kydex, you should be okay. I'm, like I said before, I've never had an outside the waistband um, activate the magazine release, so that should not be an issue. But overall, it appears to be a pretty solid fit and it does, it does look like it's molded well to this, uh, to this chassis. All right, let's go and tighten it up and then we'll test it out. Okay, so I gave that about three good turns and made sure that the little washer on the back wasn't moving at all. And we have a much more audible click now. Okay, not bad. It does hold in place. It's not going anywhere. Let me can sit there and yeah, you're gonna be all set to go. And you can adjust that as much as you need to. It is fairly tight, but I still have more room for more uh, tension if I need it. All right, let's go. Oh, and the other thing too that you mentioned is you do have uh, a fairly uh, heavy cut here on the side where the entire finger guard is going to be exposed. So you can get your entire hand around the gun to draw it. Sometimes these tend to ride down a little bit and can sometimes block one finger, but that's not the case on this particular holster. So that's a little bit different from other styles that I've seen that happen to go over the entire trigger guard. Now that's something you may or may not like, but it does not make this any less stable. It is locked into place. So you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything like that, but that's a, maybe a little bit unique to the We The People design. All right, let's go ahead and try it out and see how it fits. All right, so here's the front view, and I'm using a proper carry belt here. We've got the core belt that we're using today. And as you can see, I've got plenty of room on the side. It's not pressing into my side. It actually rides out about, about a quarter inch or so, half inch, which is really nice. You've got plenty of space there. Go and show you the side view. Please ignore the uh, tactical muffin top. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you've got some fairly aggressive hooks down here, like I said, and these will grab in just about any belt that you're going to put it on. Uh, this belt is fairly thick, uh, a little bit wide. And you can accommodate up to one and three-fourths inches, which I think is going to work out well for most belts that you find out there. All right, let's go ahead and holster the firearm. There you go. There it is with the G3 in place. Okay, go and show you the uh, front now. There you go. Draw. Very easy to draw and reholster. Okay, good retention. Positive lockup. All right. Okay, let's go and bring it back for a few final words. So I looked it up again, and according to We The People Holsters on their FAQ, you have a one-year return for any reason return policy. So if you don't like it for any reason whatsoever, you can go ahead and contact them and do a return. You might have to pay return shipping. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and see how it works. Now, when it comes to holsters, please under understand this is just my opinion. You know, getting a holster that fits you and works best for you and makes you most comfortable and confident, that's a very kind of personal decision, kind of like when you choose which firearm you want to carry. And so there may be some features on this holster that you don't like. There may be some other features that you do like. So like as a comparison, like example, here's a, uh, here's a holster from holeguns.com for my CZ Shadow 2. It has a really nice aggressive cut on the top. And so this does allow for an optic. Uh, this is IDPA compatible. Uh, you can use it in the shooting series as an outside the waistband holster. And as you can see, it has a much different system of latching and hooking on, much different adjustment system and so on. So I kind of wish I had something like this on here, but it really is not a, a make or break kind of thing for me. So, you know, you'll pick the holster that works best for you. Some people are completely content with their uh, Mike's, uh, Uncle Mike's holster. You know, if that, that works for you, you go ahead and do it. This is what I started off with and I still have it because it still has some application once in a while. So, you know, I do keep it around. Uh, but otherwise, for the We The People holsters, outside the waistband, Kydex G3 holster for the Taurus G3, I think it's something that you should definitely consider if you want a nice, solid, secure outside the waistband option. Uh, there's a lot of competition out there, but you also have good customer service with a company that's been around and is going to be around for a very long time. And again, We The People is pretty, they do advertise quite heavily on YouTube, and I do see their commercials online and stuff. And, and I don't think you can go wrong with it if you choose one from them. And you also have the option for uh, left-hand draw, too. So anyway, this is Travis P11. Uh, shout out to my family for hooking me up with this really cool holster but i want you guys to have a great uh, holiday for the rest of the holiday enjoy your winter uh, get out there hit the range i want you guys to like and subscribe uh, don't forget that we also do a little podcast called caliber corner which takes place on saturday mornings at 8 a.m central time over here on youtube make sure you guys do check it out like and subscribe uh, but in the meantime i want you guys to uh, have fun i want you to be safe and as you know we will talk to you soon all right take care and have a good one Bye bye